But Mike, I will ask you about what you're hearing in terms of another trade that potentially could happen. What's the interest around the league on DeAndre Hopkins? Mike, there's interest in DeAndre Hopkins as a player, but it's it's more than that. I mean, we're talking about a $19.5 million number on him this upcoming season. That's what he's owed non-guaranteed-wise from the Arizona Cardinals. So our Ian Rappaport is saying that talks are ramping up amongst interested teams, but uh, my sources are telling me nothing's really imminent at this point, and it's really about a manipulation of that contract on top of what you're going to have to give up Arizona, which could be day two draft pick compensation when all is said and done so that's a lot for a team here now my understanding is Hopkins is not looking at this saying he wants to do contractually what he did when he was traded from Houston to Arizona which was capitalized into a much bigger contract that really screwed up the wide receiver market for many years because everybody said look at that contract from Hopkins it's way up there uh, he's more uh, interested in if he's got to rework it making it work for the next team look it's about going somewhere where it's a good fit for him uh, and somewhere he can also compete, I think, are the two most important things for him. So let's see how this goes. Uh, we'll continue to watch it. Like Rappaport said, talk's heating up, but nothing really imminent as of right now, Mike. All right. Mike, I know if there is any new intel, you will be all over it for us here on NFL Total Access. All right, uh, DJ, <laughs> look, Mike gave us the business side of things and talked through some of the numbers. Take me through the football side of things. What's the fit for a team for a guy that's as talented as anyone that we have in the league? Well, the financial thing needs to get worked out, sure. but let's set that to the side. And to me, if I'm DeAndre Hopkins and you're looking at where does he fit, where does he want to go, to me, I, I think he belongs with a contender. I, I look at a place like Buffalo, and I know what you have, obviously, with Stephon Diggs there. Gabe Davis has been a good player who's had great moments but hasn't been consistently great. When you're going to have to compete with the Kansas City Chiefs, you cannot have enough firepower. So, again, the, the money would have to get worked out on some type of a friendly deal there. But I look at him trying to find one of these premier quarterbacks and go land with him. But I do not want to bury the lead. And that is a fact that Sean O'Hara did quote MC Hammer a minute ago, and nobody called him out on it. I just want to let that be known. Well, I think Waller's reaction alone was enough of a call out. And Sean, I, I know you're over there. I don't I don't know if Darren's going to be calling for marketing advice on the next album. <laughs> yeah. I'm just saying. We need I'm to pray. just saying. So. <laughs> don't hurt him. Come on. Just to make it. I know. I, uh, and he's a lot bigger than I am. So if Sean says it's okay.